Well, we actually decided to write the book. It started from an MBA program. It started from Dan, my co-author uh, and at Harvard Business School, bringing the first uh, program of uh, HBS students to Israel in 2001 and, and realizing that there needed to be a book to explain what they were seeing. That's how we got the idea. Uh, but the basic uh, reason we could write a book called Startup Nation is because there are more startups here than any country outside the United States. Uh, they get more venture capital than, uh, than any uh, group of startups in the world. Uh, and uh, uh, that uh, there's such just amazing innovation coming out of this country. First of all, the reason a lot of uh, CEOs and big companies are coming here is because they're, uh, they know that a lot of innovation comes from startups. And they're coming here looking to see where startups come from, where innovation comes from. Now, MBA uh, programs are also trying to figure out how do you teach innovation? How do you teach entrepreneurship? And I think the tendency tends to be to you know, look at an innovation within companies but very few people look at innovation in a whole country. What makes a country innovative? What makes an innovative culture, an entrepreneurial culture? And that's very interesting to see. You have to kind of experience it. You have to be there, feel it, feel the creative energy, uh, see that creative energy in the arts and culture, in technology, and all kinds of things. And uh, I think it can really fill a gap in, in MBA education and entrepreneurship education. I think one of the big things for people coming over for the first time visiting Israel is, is actually seeing the ecosystem, feeling how it works, meeting startups, meeting entrepreneurs, seeing young people doing incredible things uh, and coming up with incredible technologies. Uh, simply seeing how it works in terms of being on the street, meeting the people, being in the coffee shops, feeling the energy. I think that the, it's it's hard to beat that. Just like a picture is worth a thousand words, being in a place is probably worth even more.